Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica, and I'm so glad that you're here for today's crafty tutorial, because today we're gonna be trying out a brand new, super popular and trendy product. We are gonna be sublimating these frosted beer can Libby glasses. So if you're ready to see me sublimate these, then keep watching. All right guys, so for this craft, you're going to need very few supplies, especially if you are already doing sublimation, then you probably already have the majority of these supplies. But just in case you're a newbie, I'll go ahead and name everything that I used here. So first I designed my designs on an app called Procreate on my iPad. I also use Canva sometimes, but you wanna make sure that you print your designs on sublimation paper. This is a sub branded sublimation paper. It is the best in my opinion, and I've tried several different brands and I always go back to a sub. Um, you wanna make sure that you're printing your designs on a sublimation printer. I converted a regular Epson EcoTank 2760 into a sublimation printer so that I could print off sublimation designs a few years ago. And I've just been using that printer ever since. Now to trim your designs, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're also going to need some butcher paper and then some heat resistant tape. Make sure it is heat resistant tape. I have mine on this really nice tape dispenser that I got off of Amazon. It automatically cuts the tape into pieces for you so you can just grab it and go it makes it super easy to work with and then for today's craft we are going to specifically be trying out these frosted libby beer can glasses these are super trendy and popular right now and i see a ton of other small businesses using these and selling these so i just thought i would give it a try and try these out for you guys and see how they sublimate i got these cans off of amazon in a pack and they came with some bamboo wooden lids and some clear glass straws so I'm super stoked to sublimate on these and try these out so let's go ahead and get started okay so since I've obviously already printed off my designs now I'm gonna take my handy dandy scissors and cut them into individual designs so that we can go ahead and tape them on our cups and sublimate the glasses All right, so I've trimmed down my designs you want to leave a tiny bit of a white space around it but that's about all you need Now, before we start working on the cup, I recommend that you put down a soft towel or something down to hold your glass so it's not rolling all over the table, getting scratched up. Whether you're using frosted glasses or just clear regular glasses, you wanna make sure that you set it on something so that it doesn't get scratched up while you're working on it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my design and I'm putting it face down and I'm just gonna line it up as best as I can. And I'm just going to line my design with tape all the way around the edges. All right, now the first design is taped on and ready to be sublimated. But first, I'm going to tape on the back design now. So I'm just going to lay my cup down again right on the other design. And I'm going to tape my other design down. All right, so now that I have both my designs taped on there really well, now I'm going to take some parchment paper or butcher paper and I'm just going to wrap up my cup. And I just do this so that the design doesn't bleed through the paper and get all over my tumbler heat press. So I just put a few pieces of tape on there to hold it into place. And now this glass can is ready to be sublimated. So I have my tumbler heat press set to 365 and I changed my timing to 180 seconds. So now I'm gonna put my glass can in my tumbler heat press and I'm gonna press it for 180 seconds. And then we're going to flip it and press it for an additional 180 seconds. All right, so now we're ready to flip it. So I'm just gonna take it and spin it around, push it back in there and press it for an additional 180 seconds. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my glass can and I'm just going to set it on my heat press. It's not on. I'm just letting it sit there until it is completely cooled off before we unwrap it. So while we're waiting on that other glass to cool down, we'll go ahead and tape up and sublimate the other one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so one design is taped on. Now let's flip it and do the other one. So now that I have both designs taped on, I'm gonna do the same thing and wrap the parchment paper around it. All right, so now this glass can is ready to go in the tumbler heat press. All right, so I flipped it and now we're gonna press it again. All right, so same thing, taking our glass tumbler out and I'm gonna set it on the heat press till it completely cools down and then we can unwrap them. All right guys, so both of my glasses are completely cooled off now, so now I'm going to unwrap them. So there's one side. And there is the other side. So on one side I put mama needs coffee and on the other side I put first I drink the coffee and then I do the things. Super cute. And as you can see the black looks really good. It is like faded compared to what it would be like on a normal like white sublimation tumbler but it gives it a more like vintage look but I think this is still gorgeous. So love how this turned out. Now let's go ahead and unwrap that second one. All right, so there's one side. Now let's take off this other one. And there's the other side. So again, the yellow looks a little bit faded, kind of gives it like a vintage look, but it's still vibrant and looks good to me. So this side says fueled by caffeine and chaos around a little drippy smiley face with tired eyes. This is one of my designs on my website. And then I put small business owner on the other side because I think I got to keep this one for myself for some of my iced coffees to go into. All right, y'all, that's where I'm gonna leave you guys today. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys next time.